One of the women uh, that I was asked to pray for had big, huge lumps in her thyroid. She had what we call in the medical field thyroid nodules. A lot of times the nodules are benign, they're not cancerous, but the bigger they are, the more you worry about them. And this woman was diagnosed actually with cancer of the thyroid. And her whole family is in ministry, and they really do believe strongly in the Lord. She actually is in ministry herself. And they really didn't want to do what they were getting recommended, which is surgical treatment and other kinds of medical treatments, which are not pleasant and very hard to go through. And so I was called in and asked to um, pray. Even her scans were showing the presence of cancer. For example, the nodules had a lot of what we call in the medical field, hypervascularity, which means that, that there's a lot of blood circulation coming into these nodules. They're active. We always check these nodules to see, we check the thyroid to see if the thyroid is functioning, is the uh, thyroid making the right amount of hormone, and then we're looking to see is there any signs of cancer. So she had been through a lot of workup and they, you know, had diagnosed the cancer and they were getting ready to treat her. So at that time I was called in and I prayed for the brain to be healed because the endocrine glands in the brain regulate the, the level of thyroid hormone that we make in the thyroid. It was very important to be looking at that on her and they had scanned her and they could see a lot of, again, this hypervascularity coming into the thyroid. But when I prayed for her, they rechecked her and it was amazing. All of the signs of cancer had just disappeared. The nodules didn't have the hypervascularity coming in. None of the signs of cancer were there, and the, the doctors just didn't understand it. They said, how could everything have changed like this? So they started sending her on to other doctors, wondering why it wasn't showing up. And finally, they sent her to an endocrinologist who said he was going to do a blood test on her. And he said he knew she had cancer. They all knew she had cancer. All the doctors agreed there's cancer there. The fact that they couldn't find it, <laughs> they didn't understand. So the one doctor said, I'm going to run a blood test on you. And if your reads are over 500, for sure you've got cancer. So he said, and I know you have cancer. So your read's going to be a lot higher than 500. He had her blood drawn, and they did the read, and it was 19. Finally, all the doctors just gave up. They realized she didn't have cancer anymore. <laughs> and that was the end of it.